Hi, this is Candy Johnson. I am your host, and this is Real Talk, brought to you by Real Raw Records. Uh, today's topic is prayer works. We're going to do things a little different than what we normally do today. Um, uh, I really enjoyed myself in the last session we had uh, about prayer. Uh, in the uh, Christian belief, uh, I am what they call a worshiper. And uh, what a worshiper is, is uh, it's a builder. And it's sort of like a carpenter. It's also very similar to a farmer. Uh, Farmers know that um, not only do they have to uh, be wise uh, in selecting the ground that they choose to plant their seeds in, uh, but they also have to uh, till that ground. No matter how fertile the ground is, it has to be tilled. And tilling takes a lot of work. But uh, the results from tilling pays off. Uh, in abundance, therefore, it's worth the effort. <laughs> uh, as with anything in life, um, it's just wise for us to ask ourselves uh, when we put so much effort into things, is it worth it? Is this worth it? The reason why I chose to Um, play uh, my keyboard today it's because it is evidence in itself that prayer works you say candy will how is that well I'll tell you I'll share my testimony with you about uh, me playing this keyboard. One day I was in my sister's house and I was meddling around on my nephew's keyboard and I lifted my head up to God and I told him, I said, and that's prayer now. I said, Lord, and I had my hands on the keyboard and I said, Lord, if you teach me how to play this thing, I'll rock it for you. <laughs> yeah. I heard my cry. <laughs> my uh, brother-in-law, who at the time is not really much of a believer. He's somewhat a skeptic at the time. <laughs> uh, he laughed. All oh, that tickled him.
Yeah, because it seemed impossible. But let me tell you, with God, all things are possible. God taught me how to play this keyboard. Um, I bought a little bitty kitty keyboard uh, in the beginning. I wanted to learn how to play so badly. And I just began to play on it. And I tell you, I started out with a peck here and a peck there. Here, a peck everywhere, a little peck, you know. But eventually, little by little, God began to teach me to listen to the sounds. And uh, I learned what go together and what didn't go together. Even people tried to uh, get, get me to get uh, take some type of lessons. I told them no. I said, I believe that my God knows everything. And certainly, he's the creator of music. And surely he know how. To teach me how to play this keyboard. I hear the master teacher. Yes, he is. And he did that. And he did it so well. He did it so well that when I went in to play, uh, to record this particular song, that I'm playing now is titled Addicted. People that have degrees in playing the keyboard, they couldn't they couldn't play this this song. <laughs> oh, he go like that, he go like that, he go like that. Uh, they, uh, the people at the recording studio are professionals, so-called experts. But there was something special they had to admit in the way that I play the key. key. Mm. And I said, you're going to have to play this. <laughs> Uh, even there was something so special in the way that I play is that uh, this one guy called himself insulting me one time on one of my posts of the video of this song and he said yeah there's something uh, like I don't know what it is probably the digital sound in the background <laughs> Uh, you were trying to say that took away from the song. I said, well, baby, let me tell you something. I know you don't know what you're talking about because that's not no digital sound. That's me playing. <laughs> I'm a bad bitch. Yes, I am. Huh? I told him, yeah. If it sound like it's digital music, that mean I, I, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I said, but got me playing live in the studio. All right. <laughs> well, God is real. Yes, he is. He didn't have no more to say about that. Okay. He seemed like so foolish. Thinking he know. But it don't know nothing. 
created about the creator even not from God yes he is and this was uh, self-proclaimed this by the way he was not an atheist he was a theist one that said that he believed in God but he didn't he didn't even sit the presence of God in that song he was being so jealous and hateful So those of you who don't know, uh, there are a lot of tears out there that profess to know God, but they have no clue that he is real. Because they don't have no evidence. That's why they speak of, of faith like it's some imaginary thing that you just have to believe it. No, God don't ask us just to believe without no evidence. He said, prove me now, hear me? He said, prove me now, huh? When I asked God to teach me how to, to, to play this keyboard and I refused to go get lessons, that was me saying, God, if you're real, I want you to prove it. Yeah, huh? Uh, I want you to prove it. If you're all knowing God, show me how to play the keyboard. Show me what you're working with. <laughs> oh, he did just that. Hey, he going like that, baby. Cause he is real. You multiply to me. Your love touches me deep, deep within your heart. Who am judging what? What I'm deep. Oh, and this is my soul. Oh, I want to tell you how I really do what I do. Yeah, that's a love song that I wrote to the Lord. Oh, I wanted to tell him thank you for showing me how to do this here. Just show me that he real. <laughs> 